Eric Hyde Park picture house. Go on. There you go, I'm sure you've seen it before. We've uh, got a bit of a special going on with the Frontier Director, Xavier Jens. We're going to have a Q&A session, We've got to watch Frontier, and it's going to be absolutely massive. <laughs> Good evening, so, uh, Frontier is my first film, so uh, I did it five years ago. Um, it's a movie done under influence, it's a kind of uh, French, uh, te French uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I hope you will enjoy it, and uh, I hope uh, you will come to see the divide tomorrow. Thank you. So we've just um, had a QA and a session after the Frontier with uh, Xavier Gens, the Divide showing tomorrow. So first of all, how have you found um, the Q&A session here yeah, at Hyde Park? It was really cool. Uh, now the, the audience uh, were really receptive and uh, I love Leeds. It's a very rainy and cloudy city. Yeah. So that changed a lot from, from south of Spain where I was one week ago. Oh, so a bit of a contrast. <laughs> How was it looking back over Frontier? You said that you've uh, not seen it for a while. Yeah, that was very surprising because uh, the last time I have seen it, it's maybe two or three years ago. And uh, between that, there was uh, The Divide with my new film. And it's really funny because you, when you have distance on your work like that, after you're taking so much uh, time to don't watch it, you see all the mistakes you yeah. made in that time and uh, also the the feeling that was um, a very youth, um, I don't know if you say youth, to say young youth. Oh, a youthful approach. Uh, a, a youthful approach of, uh, of a storytelling and, uh, and now like I'm a bit older I think, oh my god, I will never tell things like that. So it's, uh, it's quite funny. So you feel as though you've, you've kind of grown up with the narrative of the film? Yeah, because uh, I was uh, 30 years old when I did Frontier and now 36. So it's a kind of weird to to see how the evolution is and um, how you can have a different approach of, of the things. I mean, Frontier in itself, you've got um, vivid colours mm -hmm. alongside some very bleak landscape and, and tints um, used. I mean, the fact that you've got um, your main character covered in mud or blood for a good portion mm -hmm. of it. Um, with the imagery, uh, especially with it having such a political um, background, mm -hmm. And as, as was mentioned in the Q&A session, the strong cross reference as mm. well. Um, were, were the colours uh, any reference towards those political things you were putting across? Uh, it's, uh, it's, much more to, it's much more a movie uh, in reaction to a political system uh, coming from France. In 2002, we have the extreme right arriving in the second term of a presidential election. And uh, as a young uh, citizen, it's something a bit shocking uh, for us because that was like, wow, uh, it's a very old country because mm. it's uh, old ideas. And uh, finally, I think that movie is just a reaction to that. So moving from Frontiers mm -hmm. onto The Divide, firstly, the biggest contrast that I can see is you've gone from working with French cast mm -hmm. and what I presume is French crew as well, mm. uh, to predominantly an American cast. Mm. Yeah, um, I think it's uh, it's not such a big contrast because finally um, I was just trying to make another yeah. movie. However, you so just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that, and uh, finally it's uh, just um, you know when you are uh, making a film, you just think about the movie you are making and the freedom you can have to tell the story because uh, you don't have to forget the movie industry is an industry, so sometimes you have to make commercial movie. I did one. And I was kind of frustrated to make that commercial movie called Hitman. And finally, um, when I did uh, The Divide, that was like um, a return to the roots of what I want to do and uh, something more personal, more uh, human also. It's more focused on the character, more, more focused on the backstory of everybody and the relationship between the person, the character, sorry. <laughs> we tripped on French. <laughs> and uh, now it's, uh, and you will see it, uh, the divide, it's a more um, mature version of Frontier. Finally, there is some scenes who are exactly the same. There is an haircut scene like in Frontier, mm. but uh, it's more bleak, more violent, but more psychologically uh, violent also. 
I mean, I've got the impression that with The Divide, um, you've got a lot of influences such, I mean, there's the whole ap apocalyptic feel. Well, mm. it is apocalyptic, basically. Yeah. Um, that kind of gives the, the tone of, uh, say, um, Comic McCarthy's The Road uh -huh. and the film from that. Uh, have you drawn influences from um, any of those films? The comic, I have read The Road uh, uh, far after I have made The Divide yeah. and uh, I was more into a Carpenter movie, John Carpenter okay. film from the 80s and um, also a movie and a book uh, from Peter Brook from the 60s called Lord of the Flies. Uh, yeah. So it's uh, much more about that. It's, uh, that is the main influence of the film. And after we try to drive uh, our feeling and the emotion we have during the film with the actors, and that was very interesting because we shoot the movie in sequence. So all the actors get really into the, their character and they get on a diet for 31 days of shooting, so they can... <laughs> you can see the emancipation uh, set in. <laughs> and they become very fixed up. Yeah, I, I mean, I was going to ask you about this, actually, because I know that you shot chronologically, yeah. um, and the people that I've spoken to before that have made that decision, it's usually down to budget reasons. Mm -hmm. Was it more to do with the fact that you wanted the, ca the, the well, cast to get into the story and go? Um, for us, that was quite uh, easier to shoot in sequence because uh, for the evolution and the arc of the character, uh, it's easier to go to one, two, three than one, three, two, because um, like that the actor can go forward on his character and have mm -hmm. some uh, evolution. And like that we can bring in the movie a lot of very cool ideas, like the guy with the dress and <laughs> that kind of stuff. So you can just progress with the characters as exactly. they get more into the yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. Did you find that the um, cast found that a bit difficult to deal with? Was there a bit of conflict with your directing <laughs> yeah, technique? Yeah, oh, really? was, yeah, there was a lot of conflict because um, if you want, in the film, like I let a lot of improvisation to uh, the direction and the actors. Mm. Sometimes some of them take a little bit over the, uh, the others. And um, for example, the character of Lauren German, uh, she was, uh, at the beginning, she was really cool and she was really into the movie and uh, her character and she's a very serious actress. But after one week of shooting, she became um, very mad because uh, everybody was making stuff uh, who was not expecting on the script. And she was a bit insecure on what happened on the set. She and, liked uh, to know what she was, what yeah, was happening on the set. Exactly, yeah. And uh, that was uh, complicated sometimes. Do you think that it has worked out in the best way possible, though? I, yeah, finally, I think that conflict was really useful because at the end of her performance, uh, in the film, she's a bit uh, a watcher. She's watching what happened uh, between uh, each other. She's uh, watching. Uh, what uh, how the others evolved and um, I think that helped a lot for her reaction because she never know uh, what can happen on that set and it's a little bit a lesson we take from uh, Ridley Scott when he did Aliens mm. um, he never said to the actor the Chess Buster will come off for uh, John Hurt and uh, you have some crazy reaction just the natural reaction yeah. so you, you like the natural approach yeah, to yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you've got very strong films behind you. You have said that Frontiers, you are a bit embarrassed about. You said Hitman, well, Hitman, sorry. Um, it was a commercial film that you mm -hmm. had to do mm -hmm. in order to get to the divide. Yeah. They've all been very big successes. I mean, you can see from the Q&A session, for example, tonight, that everyone was, they couldn't believe that was your first film. Mm -hmm. you must feel very strongly um, about political values and um, to be able to put that in to a genre film in but itself. I've I think it's important when you are making genre film, if it's just to show people get uh, murdered, it's not really interesting. So if you can say something else behind, it's, uh, it's important. And when I have started to make movies, my feeling is to try to say something to the audience. And uh, I love genre movies, so I make genre movies. But uh, I think we've uh, become more edgy. I will go to something more personal and uh, tell stories who are more intimate and more uh, focused on uh, human beings. But for the moment, I uh, want to speak about my world and uh, what I feel about my time. So it's uh, just a reflection on, uh, on things. Okay. I mean, it is fantastic, that mm. kind of way of thinking, to bring it into a genre film, instead of, as you say, just going around killing people for no yeah. particular reason. Yeah, but uh, the George Romero was doing that in the 70s. <laughs> I know, but, ty but as, as I say, it's good to see that something is being brought into the genre mm -hmm. that is a bit different, that does have the characterization, it does have the storyline mm -hmm. as well as well, the gore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I think it's the, a little bit what happened with the new wave of French horror. Every uh, director, when you watch Martyrs, the Pascal 
psychology movie with a very serious movie. Um, have a very uh, um, philosophical approach in his film mm. and uh, he's very serious, he's very strong and there is a, a lot of meaning behind but when you watch Destination Final uh, 5 or 4 yes. it uh, don't make a lot of sense it, That's what mm. tends to happen though, five yeah. films down the yeah. line in a franchise yeah, exactly. and I think that's the difference between making um, separate films within mm -hmm. a genre to continuing within mm -hmm. a franchise basically no. and finally well I don't know there was just too many too many questions that I had for you <laughs> what is your favorite part of um, um, the divide for you what is it that it could be the worst part that you had the most fun making mm -hmm. or the part that you're most proud of um, in the divide it's uh, it's tricky because uh, there is a lot of stuff I really like in it I really love the ending <laughs> So like that, you will be obliged to. Write <laughs> I've heard it's very desolate. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I really love that ending because it's uh, it was a bit unexpected in that kind of film to have the opportunity to go to that ending, and um, I'm really happy of that because um, when we were shooting it, all the crew was so excited to do a, a very bleak, dark ending like that, and uh, now I'm really proud of it. So um, that is my uh, my best part, I think, in the divide, and so many things. Was, and uh, there is a scene also um, where they play a true sword there in the film, and I think the actors in that scene are really fantastic. They did an amazing job. So basically, what you're saying is you can't wait for the end of your film. Uh, uh, yeah, that is your uh, favorite uh, part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I really love the evolution. Uh, if I watch the film. There is so many moments where I'm a bit surprising sometimes by the performance of the actors. I'm watching them, I'm like, oh wow, I didn't get that. Because they are eight together in the basement and they're always doing a uh, lot of things and uh, they have a lot of little reaction and they were so into it. When you watch the actors when we were shooting the film, we were in Winnipeg and in Winnipeg it was minus 30 degrees so they cannot go outside taking a beer wow, or anything like yeah. that. They get stuck in the hotel and every morning when I go to the, to the set they were doing uh, cardio <laughs> training to lose weight and after the arriving they just have a coffee and they just work all the time and at the end you saw some amazing performance are you, are you still on speaking terms with any of the cast by the sounds uh, of it it was uh, quite traumatic uh, I, really, <laughs> I really like them because they give me so much my uh, position was really easy on that film because it's there who did all the job so it's uh, it's a, that movie is really for them. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your thank time. You very much. Um, thank you. Had a lovely evening. It's been great. Thank you. <laughs> so please keep an eye out for the divide. Um, if Frontiers is anything to go by, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, leave us your thoughts on the Leeds International Film Festival Facebook page and say hello on Twitter. Leave us your thoughts. <laughs>